Did you ever ask yourself how to get a five-star pilot, manager, marine or service crew? We're going to talk about that today. Welcome on board. My name is Captain Collins. Welcome to Space Operations Delta. We're back in X4 Foundations and today I'm going to show you how to train all your personnel the most effective way I know there can be more, but this is how I do it in game. Before we talk about the Terran ship on my shirt, we're going to talk about how to level up your skills with today's sponsor. Skillshare. Skillshare is an online platform to learn new skills or elevate your existing ones with fun and easy to browse classes. If you are interested in creative works like animations or graphic designs, you will find classes for beginners and in-depth tutorials from experts in their fields and get yourself a 5 star rating in that. Like this class from Southern Shoddy 3D for your first day in Blender. And Blender is used by Ubisoft, for example, to make models in-game. Skillshare got these classes for its members and many more to discover. It's completely ad-free, available in different languages and new classes get added every week. As a special offer, the first 1000 people to use the link in my description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. And now back to our personnel. If I share with you my personal management overview, you will see that a lot of these people do have a very high skilled rating. Especially like the managers are getting a really high rating. Then I have some service crew, which is also pretty easy to level. And we're going to talk about all of them right now. And you already see a few hints right here. We are going to start with the service crew. And there are a few ways how to do that very effective. One of the most effective things to get your service crew better and then redistribute them to other ships so that they can repair these ships way better than your standard crew is to use a builder or get a builder yourself. If you don't know how to get a builder, then definitely take a look at my video about boarding because that will tell you how to get builders completely for free. With these builders, you can level up service crew extremely easy and fast because whenever something is building with that builder, the service crew will work on that building process. They will make it also a little bit faster and they will level up very, very fast. Another way to get your service crew leveled up really fast is to place them on ships that get damaged regularly. That means like a defending force at a gate, the more they repair, the more they level. These are two of the most easiest way to get your service crew higher. But I think service crew is not really the thing where we are struggling. So let's take it a step up and let's go to Marines. And how do you level Marines? Well, you got two options how to level Marines, which are really effective. The most effective if you want to. First one is constantly send them to boarding something. The more they board, the better they get. And you really want to keep your highest level crew for the last step of your boarding when the target is already down with the defending force so that you are not losing too many people while boarding. And the people that do board the ship at the end do get the experience. Again, if you don't know how to board, I highly advise you to watch the last video on this channel where I'm talking about boarding mechanics and how to get ships easy and fast everywhere. But that's only one way how to get your Marines higher skilled. A second way, and this is for the more advanced people, is to use terraforming. In terraforming, you have the ability, if you go completely to the right, there is one section that's called training. If you have not unlocked terraforming yet, there are also other videos and tutorials how to unlock and how to get into terraforming. Take a look at these. There you have the martial arts school and the martial arts school will make your Marines better. That is one advice that I can give you if you are done with a terraforming mission. Do not jump into the next mission head on after you completed one of these because there is still a benefit in having a full terraformed 
planet in the system, like for example the training option. And we're going to talk about the training option in a second again. So there we have it, two ways how to get marines really fast. And the next one is how to get managers leveled up faster. Managers are, well, kind of easy to do. There is one specific way how to get managers really, really fast leveled. The fastest way to get your managers leveled is to have a station where they can do a lot of trades. Every single trade, every single transaction that the manager does will make the manager better. And you can build a station exclusively for leveling managers and then taking these managers and put them on other stations that you want to have a jump start because a high rated manager will allow you to use the station in a wider radius. So for example, a two star manager, and I'm talking about the management skill in this regard, a two star management skill will allow that station to sell and buy stuff automatically in a radius of two jumps, two jump gates, not accelerators. Accelerators do not count in this equation, but only jump gates. So if you have a five star manager, that is the maximum and the maximum a station can sell, trade or sell or buy whatever is five jumps around that station. But therefore you need the five star manager. And the fastest way to get a five star manager is to build trading stations. That means you simply build a station with a docking bay, a storage, and that's it. You place a manager on it and you select a lot of trade wares and you set these trade wares to whatever values you want. Uh, this station will buy things, will sell things and your manager will gain experience every single time that happens. So place that station somewhere where there's a lot of traffic and where there's a lot of exchange of wares. If we take a look at the skills that people can get, that your personnel can get, there is another one that is called Ship Trader. A Ship Trader is not really changing anything in my experience. So it doesn't really matter if your Ship Trader is a one star Ship Trader or if it's a five star Ship Trader. If you have a different opinion or if you made another experience with your ship traders please tell me in the comments i want to know about that but now the most important thing that people are screaming at egosoft like how why do you do that egosoft why do you make it so hard is skilling up captains captains is just such a headache to skill and i want to give you one of the most easiest way how to get your captain skilled. Something that we need for that are our dear and beloved Xenons. To make this work, we need first good ships, skilled, strong ships, like for example, destroyers. And we need a sector which has got a border with a Xenon sector. So for example, we're taking Hatikva's choice one. Don't get confused by the name of Bob's choice, this is something, you can rename stuff in my stream, this is a thing in my stream, by the way I'm streaming on twitch.tv slash Captain Collins. Go there, you can rename stuff in my game if you want to. And what you're gonna do is you are taking your ships and you put them into a protect position default behavior and you protect the position right in front of the gate where the Xenons come out because fighting is the most effective way to skill your captains. And these captains will then engage into fights all the time at this gate. You need strong ships for that because you do not want your captains to die at the gate. So that way you need to give them at least a chance if there is a Xenon K coming through, for example. And when you do that right and you have your force there, like just take a few ships like how often do you need a five-star captain right but if you need a five-star captain you can get them from there 
And if we're taking a look again into my personal management and I show you my, my captain's skills, then you will see that one of the highest ranked captains is from an Osgard. That Osgard is staying at the gate and is constantly fighting Xenons. And that dude just started with around two stars. That's the maximum I give them with seminars. There is another way. You, you can also put seminars on captains and managers. That's another way to skill them. But I said most effective way. And it is not really that effective to make these highly demanding quests and get one single seminar for one single star for one single captain or manager. That's not really what we want to do. We want to have them like want to have a constant flow of these highly skilled captains. And as you see here, these are the captains that are engaging into fights and especially the Osgard. The Osgard is a one single ship that is fighting a lot of Xenons at that gate and that captain is really a strong captain by now because he's constantly engaged in fights and if i need a high skilled captain i just take them and i transfer them to the ships or, or whatever i need them right now and then they are at the position where they're most effective like for example as a fleet leader they are most effective so have one in an osgard have them as a fleet leader be most effective with your personnel because there cannot be a whole bunch of five star captains that will take you a lot of time and if we're honest that's also not the case how it works um in 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 real so you do have a few high skilled people that you need to manage and one more thing that i need to mention is in the terraforming tab there is another training menu which is called Aerial Maze in this case. And there you can also train your pilots in the terraforming menu. And that's another thing where you can utilize terraforming in a late stage and not just changing to the next mission. Just like you did with the Marines, you can do the same for pilots. And that's my best way to get these captains. And one more thing. How do you get this t-shirt? I mean, doesn't it look cool? I mean, autopilot epically faded with a Terran katana on it. The colors are amazing. It's the perfect Terran color. And you can get these at merch.spaceoperationsdelta.com. These are 25 bucks, 25 euros, 25 dollars. It's all the same price, every single size. You got them for men and women. There's also other stuff like, for example, my hoodie that I wear, also very comfy. You can find everything there. Take a look, merch.spaceoperationsdelta.com. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.